Dev, if you could sign any player in the world, who would it be? Uh, well, my favourite player is Lionel Messi. Um, it's always between him and Ronaldo, but I prefer the uh, the little lad, and, and Lionel Messi would be definitely the uh, mate. So it'd be nice to him in a black and white shirt, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so which Maidenhead player reminds you of yourself as a player? Um, it's hard to say because um, there's been a few good players uh, I've had over the years. Um, we've got the Barry Rakes, the Gary Axel, and Matty Glynn. Um, then even little Reece Smith we got now at the moment. Um, it, remind, it probably reminds me more of me because he's built like I was. He's skinny, right footed, uh, can play left, play right. Um, but he's 19, he's, he's improving. Um, how far he would go, we don't, don't know. But uh, I'd say in maybe stature and, and that, it'd have to be Reece Smith. But uh, I've had some good players um, that dribbled and all that, and the, the ones I mentioned and that. So, But little Reece Smith at the moment's 19, and we think a lot of him. So. Definitely an exciting prospect. Yeah. So when you first came to Maidenhead, what first attracted you to the club? Was it the players, was it the history, or was it something else that stood out? No, it's just it's just come over as a friendly club. Um, you know, I had Roger and Jean were good people uh, and that, and I come in with uh, Martin Busby first uh, and all that, and he ended up leaving with joint managers, and then he left, and then I'd done it on my own, and um, I always had a good relationship with Roger and Jean and uh, the club itself, and the fans have always been great, so to me. So it, it just felt like home, it just felt like a, a right family club and that's why I really come really. In both of your reigns as manager here, who has been the best player that you've had at Maidenhead? Oh, that's a hard one, that is. That is really, really hard one. You know, the first time around I had some really, I mentioned the boys and all that and I had some good players and, and that, so, oh. You know, we've had Max, you know, he's ended up playing for Wolves and, and that, so. But I suppose as, as for the club and, and done most for the club, I, I suppose I'd have to put Alan Massey right up there. Do you know what I mean? He's been, been with me a long time and we've got promoted with him and he's, he's done great um, for me. So I probably have to say Al, just for the longevity of what he's, he's given the club um, and our relationship is really good as well. So. What is your favourite moment as a manager since you've been here? Uh, definitely the winning at Margate and, and that and getting promoted to the to the National League. It was a fantastic day to see all the fans out there and, and, and that. Um, it was just a fantastic time. And, and it was always something of, of mine. I wanted to take the, the, when I was first here, I wanted to take the club as far as I could. It was just circumstances with Roger and G leaving that I left as well, decided it was time. Um, and then when I had the, the opportunity to come back, I jumped at a chance, to be fair. And uh, to take me in the National League is, is, is great. Um, and now you want more. So the next step, I want to take me into the, National, uh, into the League Two, if I can. Yeah. Okay, so what is your view on how you could transition to having full-time players? And would you prefer that prospect as a manager? Of course. Um, if you're working with a longer time, uh, better days, you can and put more of your infrastructure onto the players all the time. They'll be fitter. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that. Um, but so it's through circumstances and with the pandemic at the moment, we just don't know what's around the corner. Um, we're lucky, and privileged that we're playing now, um, which I try and get through to the players. And um, we just got to wait and see on that. But yeah, I'd love to take it in the support time. So we've had a few funny questions sent in from the Maidenhead supporters. So the first one is, what's the best fancy dress costume that you've seen at a Maidenhead game? Oh, oh seen a few. I suppose when I remember the, the lad at Dagenham come as me, I thought that was I thought that was quite funny because uh, it brings me back to when I was I, I was at Hampton and and once the, we had a fancy dress party and all the players turned up as me and it was really funny <laughs> to, to have the tash and the wig and all that but seeing the lad at Dagenham brought memories back but I'd have to say that because just to, just to see yourself looking at it is, 
but everyone still thinks we have long hair and a tash, which is uh, it's quite funny as well. <laughs> okay, so back onto the football side of things. Can you remember the day that you were signed for West Ham? Yeah, I can. Uh, it was on a, on a Thursday night. Uh, yeah, I signed. I think it was the twenty second, twenty second of September. I think it was something like that. And then I played my first game. But yeah, I remember it like yesterday. Um, you know, when you sign, I've gone from playing for a club like this and then going straight into a Premier Club or top uh, flight club. It's uh, it's all uh, still there. I can remember everything, everything, my first game, every game I played in and all that, it's still there with me. Definitely. What are your memories of the 1980 Cup Final? 1980 Cup Final, um, the heat, it was uh, such a hot day um, and um, yeah, I think it was about 80 degrees but on the pitch it was about 100 degrees because of the bowl that Wembley was in, it was such a hot day and we played the Arsenal, who were a really top team at that time. Um, but we fancied our chances. You know, like we all backed ourselves at 9 to 2 in 90 minutes. Now you can't do that now because <laughs> you get <laughs> banned and whatever. But we all backed ourselves. Um, but it, it, it was just a fantastic day. We scored early. I think Trevor scored with a head after 12 minutes. Um, and then we was comfortable. I think Parks had two saves and all that. So, but. Yeah, it was, it was a great day, and then we went through the, the better day, probably. The game weren't a great one to watch, we won and we were comfortable. Um, but the better day was a Sunday when we went through East Dam Tunnel and, and the crowds, and there must have been 250,000 people there. And we like in, in the, we didn't have an open top coach then, but we were sitting out where the windows were, so we were out, out of like, safety stuff, we would have been right in trouble. But we were going to East Ham Town and they were just packed and packed with West Ham fans charging and, and that. And that was a brilliant day. But listen, it, as a kid, you always wish you'd played in a cup final. I'm no different. I live not far away from Wembley Stadium and to play, play in a cup final and beat the Arsenal as well is uh, <laughs> was special. What was your favourite moment as a player overall? Um, favourite moment as a player? Probably the, the semi-final replay at Ellen Road. Um, we drew 1-1 in the first game at Villa Park uh, in the semi-final and I gave a penalty away. It was never a penalty, but they, get, they gave a penalty against me. Said I pushed uh, Andy King, but I didn't. Uh, they gave a penalty and then we, we equalised and got a replay and, and that. And on the Wednesday we played them again at Ellen Road. And I just had a game. I just had a game where nothing, you know, could go wrong. It was just I just felt invincible at that time. It was, uh, and fans still talk to me today about that game. And that we were there and we won the game. I scored uh, after extra time, getting to Wembley. But even outside, because we had like a, a mini bus for the family to go to watch the game, and because there was extra time, by the time I got out, it was about twelve o'clock at night. So we'd gone to the car park. And there was like four or five West Ham fans still there, all in their 40s. I was a 23 year old kid and all that. And they're crying and they're getting down their hands and knees, wanting to kiss my feet and all that. I'm like, don't, don't be silly, it's, it's football, it's football. But there's memories there that always stick with me. And the fans at West Ham are just very, very special. Very special. How important is it for a football club to have a strong academy set up? Well, always, because you want to get youngsters through. That's what it's about. We've brought some youngsters through here over the years now. Uh, and it's very good. And I know Aaron's doing a good job there and, and that uh, with John. So yeah, listen, the better players that can come through early early on and we can get them at 17, 18, then hopefully that we can progress them and, and push them on. So. Definitely. Who's the best player you played against? <sighs> played against? Well, I played, probably the best player I played against and seen in the flesh, as they say, say was uh, I played against West Germany for England at uh, Wembley and they had uh, a lad called Karl Hans Rummenigge up front and he was a special talent. He was, to see him close up and how sharp he was and he scored two goals against us, we lost 2-1. It'd have to be him and, and also Lofa Mateus who also played for West Germany, so I'd have to say them too. 
Okay, so another question away from the football side of things. Do you still have five sugars in your cup of tea? I've cut down to four. Oh, controversial. I've cut down to four now, yes. I've cut down to four, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. the missus told me if you've got to cut down. So I cut down, I said, oh, well, I'll cut down to four then. Okay, so on the topic of food and drink still, what is your favourite meal? Ham, egg and chips. Oh. Ham, egg and chips is my favourite meal. I love that. Um, um, yes, I'm not into the posh nosh, as they say, but... Uh, our egg and chips, yeah, with a slice of bread and butter does me fine. Do you have any pre-match superstitions or anything that you'd maybe do on a match day that you've found to work? Yeah, I try to wear the same clothes. Um, I keep these trousers for match days and I, the same shirt for match days, um, the same cap for match days. Um, yeah, I, I try and I've always been like that as a player. So uh, yeah, I'm a li I am a little bit superstitious when it comes to that, and try and do the same things that I do on a regular basis. If we've had lost three on the trot, then I might tweak something and change something. Um, but yeah, and we've done that a few times as well. So <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you for your time, Dan. No worries, pleasure.